I'm back. After seven months since Xiao was demoed at the Congressional App Challenges House of Code, I've learned a lot, not just about the world of app development, but also taking in new ideas and feedback on how the app could be improved. So that's why for this year's Congressional App Challenge, I present to you Chow 2.0. By far the greatest feedback from House of Code and what I sought to accomplish initially was adding a scan receipt feature. It was meant to be a future implication and I outlined a plan to use Tesseract's OCR and USDA shelf life database to tackle this issue. And it has worked to some extent. However, as many people pointed out, errors do happen when recognizing text, especially if the item added isn't recognized by USDA's database, which is why for child's future implications, I plan to use machine learning to figure out the expiration date. This way, it would, using machine learning would be able to track the expiration date across a larger variety of items, especially for brand specific ones, such as Quaker Oats. What differentiates Chow from last year is the addition of Chow RX, which takes the idea of tracking expiring things and implements them into the world of taking medicine. Simply add your items as before and Chow tracks when to take your medicine, as well as when they expire. How this works is that scheduling when to take your medicine uses similar logic as reminding you to finish expiring food. Except this time, it also sends a notification on a date provided by the user, such as taking a specific type of medicine on Tuesday, Monday, or Thursday, for example. The function then schedules a notification to occur on that date, which repeats for that day of the week. And as last year, it also schedules a notification to occur on the date of expiration, specifically 8 a.m. This feature broadens the usefulness of Chow. This is particularly valuable for individuals with complex medication routines, chronic illnesses, or just busy lives as it eliminates the risk of forgetting to take important medication or forgetting to finish your groceries at the right time. One of the biggest yet most difficult changes to Chow would be importing the app to a software known as Flutterflow. I chose this platform since it would make the development process easier. Yet it was a little bit ironic because one of the biggest setbacks when using Flutterflow was importing my app into the software as Flutterflow does not have an option to do this directly, which meant that I had to redesign the entire app into the platform. Right now, I do believe that the design overall needs a lot of work. And once the app restores back to its original design, I feel like it's ready to be deployed onto the app store and many people can use this app to track their medication and expiring food. Overall, Xiao isn't just an app that tracks expiring groceries. The concept of tracking things towards their expiration date could be applied to so many industries, whether if it's the food industry or the pharmaceutical industry. And I believe that Xiao is a crucial step to making that happen. My name is Aditya Vishegu, and thank you for watching. Oh, I need to